everybody, welcome back to Kitty Speaks. This is Sandra, aka Kitty. I'm here today with another and edition. I'm a little upset right now because I just dropped my semi sweet chocolate bar palette, which is one of my very favorite eyeshadow palettes. And it's just destroyed. The hot fudge and the licorice are just. I'm, I don't want to tip it over and have them fall all over the place because I want to try to fix them with alcohol. But I am just like so distraught right now. I can't believe I just did that. And they're just... <laughs> the two darkest colors in the palette and they are just all over everything. And... Anyway, um, the reason that I turned on my camera, besides telling you guys that, is, where are they? Okay, so... I'm supposed to be at the post office right now and my husband thought that because we were not going to the county building this morning we had some plans to go to the county building and to the post office and he thought because we couldn't go to the county building that I didn't want to go anywhere and now I'm fully dressed with my face made up and he like yeah can we go tomorrow and I'm a little pissy right now I'm like very upset um, but yesterday I got my Dead Sea Spa Elixir products. One is a Life Essence Fortified Facial Serum, and the other is a Nighttime Perfection Nourishment Cream. So, uh, I am going to start, I'm going to start on this regimen today. And, or this evening when I get ready to wash my face and so I will be reviewing those products for you um, but for now I just want to do like a first impressions of them so I'm going to take them out the packages are all like smushed up there was no sort of um, bubble wrap or anything and so the, the packages are just like all messed up so I was like ooh but I really do like this bottle this is um glass and the, oops this was the bottom oh my I really do like the packaging it looks really really luxurious I received these products free to test and review for you guys there's also a, um, a spatula in here. I was just saying in a recent video that I really, really hate getting product underneath my fingernails. Like when I get ready to go and put primer on my eye or something, my NYX um, eyeshadow primer is one that's like really, really bad. I do not like to stick my hand in them. First, I wash my hands and sanitize them before I start doing my makeup each time. But, um, I don't like getting product underneath my nails because then it's like really hard to get out. So I really, really love using spatulas. So I think that this is awesome that it came with one. And it actually says the Dead Sea Spa Elixir. But, um, both the jars are glass and they're really, really beautiful, um, as far as presentation with the gold caps. Okay, sorry, that was AARP calling my house. It's like really weird. Anyway, I really, really love the um, the gold caps. I think that this is like a really good, um, I mean, the presentation of it, the packaging, it looks really well, it looks really good and seems like high-end luxury um, with the choice of, I keep saying presentation because I can't think of another word besides packaging, but the bottles and jars, I really, really like the way they look. How about I just say it that way? So, let's check it out. This is the Nighttime Nourishment. Nighttime Perfection Nourishment Cream. Oh, wow. It is very, very thick. 
There are some here on the cap. So let's check it out. Um, it's very, very thick and emollient. It blends in really easily. And it smells kind of minty and refreshing, which is very, very interesting. It reminds me of... I probably shouldn't keep smelling it because what it smells like to me is remember uh, Elmer's glue the way it used to smell back in the day, the, the rubber cement Elmer's? That's what it reminds me of, like from the 70s. So I... I hope it doesn't, like, smelling glue is going to make you high or something. But um, it is very, very nourishing and emollient. You're supposed to apply this every evening to cleanse skin of, of the face and neck. Um, I didn't get the Eye Blessing Intensive Eye Cream, so I guess I will use my um, current eye cream. You're supposed to apply this after you do that. I'm trying to use all of it that's on this little spatula. Oh, I was like, why does it look like that? Because I, I put foundation on the back of my hand this morning to put my foundation on. I'm like, why is it brown? Okay, let's try out the um, Life Essence Fortified Facial Serum. Oh, it has a cap on it. So let's see. We gotta prime the pump. And that's about how much you get with one pump. Actually, that seemed kind of like a pump and a half because I had primed it. This is supposed to be for your face and neck. And as long as it's taking me to rub it in, I would say that's probably enough for your entire face and neck, the one pump. Because it's taking me forever to get rid of it. Um, it just has a very light scent that is not not at all offensive or perfumey or anything. It just it, and it's very very light, like you can hardly tell. So the fragrance is not likely to um, bother anybody. I don't know if it has any added fragrance in it or anything. This is you're supposed to apply two drops of serum to cleanse facial skin and massage in until fully absorbed. Use twice daily as a base for day or night cream. So this is going to go underneath your moisturizer. And. My hand feels like really, really good right now. So these are the um, Fortify Facial Serum that you're supposed to use twice a day. And then the Nighttime Nourishment Cream. Um, so these, are, these both have the Dead Sea Salt in them. That's like the main ingredient. And that is supposed to... Um, help your skin to shed dead skin layers and um, help it to like be more youthful and bring back um, the collagen and firmness and all these things of your skin from what I'm understanding of it from what I've read so far it's supposed to that's one of the things that um, that's one of the reasons why skin seems to get dull as you age just because it it doesn't regenerate as good as it does when you're young and so you end up with all these dead layers of skin and so all the products that you're putting on them are sitting on top of your skin instead of going down into your skin where they can be beneficial so if you've got dead layers of skin that and you're just putting products on top of it you're never going to see a difference in your skin you're never going to get rid of those dark spots and all that stuff so this, the Dead Sea Salt, from what I understand, helps your skin to, skin cells to turn over and that is really good for all the other products that you're going to be using to help treat whatever problems that you have. So, um, sorry that I'm a little tongue-tied this morning, but, uh... Those are the two products that I'm going to introduce into my skincare regimen, and we're going to see how it goes. We probably shouldn't see any benefits right away, 
But what I'll probably do is do a check-in after a month because I also started doing the retinol and the collagen. And so in about a month or so, we'll see how we're going. And because I'm going to be getting married in four months, um, hopefully by the time it's time for me to get married, I'm going to be radiant and youthful looking. And I wish I could find something, though, that will stop my eyelids from drooping because my eyes are starting to age. I can see this, the skin on my eyes starting to age and, like, drop down and droop. And, yeah, if I could find something that would firm and lift my eyelids back to how they used to be, I would be really, really happy. Anyway, I just wanted to do a check-in and a first impression of those two products. And so, that's all I have for this video. But until next time, you know the drill. Love, peace, and hair grease. Ciao.